This is the Isle, a mysterious place located at the end of the world, where marvelous creatures we long thought extinct thrive. It is here where we will discover how these amazing creatures get by and survive in this dangerous world. Welcome to Tales from the Island. It is nighttime at the Isle. Most herbivores are fast asleep. But the forest is far from quiet. And something is lurking around in the shadows. With the help of night vision cameras, we're able to discover what is causing the rustle. A Therosinosaurus. A huge herbivore lurking around in the dark. Unlike most herbivores, the Therosinosaurus prefers to find its food during the night, despite the threat of carnivores seeing her as a nice meal. This is an old female who is traveling alone. It is very common for the Therosinosaurus to be on its own. They are one of the largest members of the theropods which is the dinosaur family that also includes the Tyrannosaurus rex and the Allosaurus. So this particular dinosaur is actually more closely related to the carnivores than the herbivores, even though it is a plant eater. But why would she be skulking around in the dark on her own, when she knows that nighttime is also when the carnivores are active? Because the Therosinosaurus has a magnificent weapon that will ward off close to any enemy. Her front limbs is equipped with three long claws. The Therosinosaurus translated directly means sight lizard. These claws could grow up to three meters in length and are easily able to slice up the guts of any predators that will get too close. That is why she is so confident walking around on her own in the dark. As a theropod, she has magnificent night vision, just like most carnivores has, and she's able to see perfectly in the dark. Her age is proving that she has been here for a long time, and has gained a lot of experience faring in the night. With her belly full of food, she decides to search for water. There is currently a drought going on in the isle, which means that she won't get much water from the food she eats, and has to find sources elsewhere. But finding fresh water in a drought is no easy task, and she will have a long walk ahead of her. Suddenly her eye catches something on the way. The Tyrannosaurus Rex has appeared from the woods and walking straight towards her. The Tyrannosaurus makes a wise choice. Disaster averted, and she can continue on her journey to find water. The Therosinosaurus is estimated to have been able to grow up to 10 meters in height and weigh it at 5 tons, which almost makes her as big as some Tyrannosaurus rex. Her size alone is enough to frighten off most carnivores. She has now walked a mile and there is no sight of water. She can feel herself getting slightly weaker. In this heat, it is important for her to get water soon, or she could end up dehydrated. She decides to take a rest. But suddenly something appears behind her. And Utah Raptor has been tracking her and is now biting her hind legs. He knew her weak spot. She tries to follow him, but the Utah Raptor is among the fastest of raptors and she can't give up. However, she can move fast enough to turn around before the Raptor attacks her again. 
she will not let her guard down this time. And the raptor is weighing his options. She tries again to charge him. But he is way too fast. And she tries to make a run for it. If she could get him close enough, she could turn around and slice him. But the raptor's no fool and keeps a safe distance. She notices another raptor and decides to move away as fast as she can. One Yuta raptor may not be that big of a threat, but two could prove fatal. Weighing more than four tons, it's a heavy load to carry around. At this high speed, it's immense pressure on her legs. But it looks like the raptor has given up. Lucky. She is safe, for now. She's starting to feel exhausted. Luckily, no bones were broken, but the wound still pains her. Another predator would discover her at this time. It could be fatal for her. So her best choice is to remain perfectly still and hope that no one has tracked her. Although her leg is injured, she is able to walk on it. She's starting to get dehydrated, so it's crucial for her to keep looking for water. tries to scout for water, but there's nothing to see, and he has to move on. Falling up these steep hills, he's taking a big toll on her energy. But she cannot stop, she needs water if she wishes to survive. Hours have now passed and she hasn't been able to find any water. She is getting desperate and tries to speed up, even though it would only forward the dehydration. The only water she can see is salt water, and that won't do her any good. She is heavily exhausted, dehydrated and her wound is causing her trouble. If she doesn't find water soon, she will be in big trouble. She walks between the hills and the mountain, hoping that some rainwater must have gathered somewhere. And there it is. A puddle of rainwater has gathered between the mountain and the hills, and it will become her salvation. She rushes towards it, desperate to get a taste. She dumps right out into it and takes a drink. Her life is saved. She then decides to move on. Unfortunately, she can't stay put in any place for too long. Or carnivores could pick up her scent that she could be at risk. So she continues her journey. It seems that her experience surviving in these lands 
has paid off, and she gets to live another day. Next time on Tales from the Isle, we'll be going up close and personal with the famed Tyrannosaurus Rex. And see what threats this king of the reptiles potentially faced in this time.